Hey guys, all right, so my issue is I'm attacking my drives at a negative attack angle. I'm losing a ton of yardage, 30 yards. Some guys said 40 yards. So what did I do? I came down today to Baltus Royal Golf Club to see Matt Wilson, director of instruction, and he taught me about a half hour ago three simple tips to fix it. Guys, I'm getting the yardage back. I'm hitting up on the ball. You gotta follow along because you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, by the way, this beautiful little scorecard holder I got from Baltus Roll, it'll be yours. One lucky winner. Leave a comment below. What did you learn in this video? Did anything that I do in this video help you? Let me know and you can win. Come on. All right guys, so a couple weeks ago at a recent title is fitting, the fitter told me that based on my club head speed, that if I figure some things out and start hitting up on the ball, I might be able to get 30 to 40 more yards. I don't know if that's true, but we're gonna find out today. We are here at Baltus Roll. We're in the practice center with the director of instruction, Mr. Matt Wilson, who hopefully will get me hitting more up on the ball and hitting the ball 30 or 40, Matt, what do you think? That's bold. <laughs> that's bold. That's bold. Okay. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Perfect. I'll take 10 or 15 to be honest with you, but let's see if we can do it. Um, so, so if you would, let's just start with the uh, warm up. I just have a pretty simple process. We're just going to hit a handful of pitching wedge, eight iron, six iron, and then we'll go into the driver. Just want to observe the overall pattern here right. and sort of get a sense of uh, how you deliver the club and how you move. That's like a typical hit for me. Like, I wasn't aiming there, it went right. Really the challenge here is to add or subtract some of the things that you might be doing to create, okay, there's probably too much left path there, there's probably too much attack angle down. Uh -huh. And so our challenge today is to try and figure out, okay, what can we do, uh, or at least in the least invasive way possible to help you starting to A, maximize some of the distance that you have through a little more efficient delivery with hitting up on the ball, and then soften the degree to which you have that kind of leak to the right or hard pull to the left. Got it, okay. By virtue of um, shifting that club path a little more towards target. What, what do you see normally on uh, amateurs is in their attack angle? Is it, you see a lot of negatives? Uh, it varies. I mean, I'd say probably the most common pattern we see of a, of a pretty recreational golfer would be um, not dissimilar in, um, in what you're presenting with here, just a little bit of, probably coming a little bit over the top which would sort of be sort of the, uh, I guess, generic and simplified way of, of describing it. But uh, yeah, we just see a little bit down and a little bit left in the delivery and, and a lot of a lot of left to right curve. And that's clearly why I'm losing some of that distance. I mean, that carry 260 with club head speed where it is, 260, 258. Yeah, it's launching very, very low and has a, actually your spin is, is pretty reasonable given spin your delivery. Yep. But yeah, if, if you can get that club swinging less to the left, you'll have a much easier time hitting up on it. You know, we see these guys on tour, obviously I don't want to compare myself to them, but it's so dramatic a Justin Thomas, like a tippy toe at impact. Like, that doesn't even feel natural to me. Does that, is that a way to practice? Do you think I should just sit here all day with a bucket and just do this? <laughs> yeah, in your case, no. It doesn't need to be that complicated. If you want to just swing around here and, and have a have a look. It's really just how you're set up at a dress. Mm -hmm. See how kind of like your pelvis sits kind of like that and your upper body's gonna kind of shift forward and you get kind of into this yeah. reverse sort of spine tilt or like your spine's almost tilting towards the target here. And then you compensate or adapt to that uh, through. Is my weight is shifting through already while my hands are, yeah. Yeah, you're just trying to bring the club head steeper to, to account for that. As your upper body goes back, you need to somehow get back to the ball. So we're just gonna adjust your setup and then we're gonna play around with a fun little swing idea here. Okay. So what I would love for you to do is I'd love to kind of have you slide your pelvis a little more towards target. Not that much, just a shade. And we're gonna bring that a little bit more back. So you're gonna feel pretty balanced in your setup here. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely now you can see just through the hips, if you look on the screen, let me just throw that up there. Oh yeah, straighter. Yeah, they're much more level here. Yeah. Okay? <clears throat> yeah. 
There you go. Perfect. Do that one more time. Show me the old setup. Okay, so the old setup. Yep, there you go. Show me new. Perfect. Okay. Wonderful. And you can see already how that mic's predisposed to Yeah, there. I can see. Yep. Oh, yeah, and then see. just through backswing, I just want you to feel like those shirt buttons are going to go a little more over your right shoe. Great. Okay. Good. So that's a gross over exaggeration. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. So if you would, throw the club across your shoulders one time for me. Let's get in here and do this together. So again, good setup. And then just make back swing. There we go. That'd be great. One more time. Just a little more over if you can do it. Yep. So it's tilt? Yep. I see. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Because you're, like, you're tilting this way and then you got to go back. Yeah, and you still have to rotate this down here. So go ahead, just try and get this to just work a little more. This is a gross exaggeration here, mm -hmm. but you can just see through pivot. And just now, I'm just going to take this away. Just clap your hands together for me. Like this? Yeah, and extend them out. And if you were just to let your arms swing down, what, way, what direction would they go relative to the target? Yeah, you'd just be more inclined to hit it up that way. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Great. Okay. Yep. And just hit it. Let's see what happens. Very nice. <laughs> it felt good. It felt different. It felt like I hit up on the ball. Look at attack angle plus one. <laughs> there you go. Attack angle went up. And your swing direction changed tremendously, right? So again, you're going to swing around your setup. Yep. And so, Hawkins Razor, simplest solution first. Just got to really look at setup as being one of the drivers for delivery. So let me see. No. Way back yeah. towards the target. Yep, there we go. Oh, God. With the, with the high tee. Oh, we're good here. Thanks. Matt Wilson, Baltus are all. <laughs> See you. Good night. <laughs> that's great. So, that setup you have them doing, is that kind of like that reverse K that some people talk about? If you want to classify it as that, I'm just trying to get, again, his upper body tends to sit forward and his lower body tends to sit back. And to me, that's just like, I might employ something like that if I'm trying to hit it lower. But if I want to get, the easiest way to look at it is, okay, if I have my upper body ahead, my lower body back, if I just swing my arms, they're going to probably be at their lowest point ahead of the ball and to the left. Or if I do the flip side of that, now they're going to be at their lowest point mm. sort of behind the ball and closer to my right foot. <clears throat> Wow, okay. And so that's really what we want to do is just set up the conditions that like give your body the opportunity to move in the way that you're looking for. Okay, we did a nice job there. So a little bit to the right, I mean left, pardon me. No, it's good when they say you're going to get funky. We're going to get funky now. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So go ahead and set up for me. Make a back swing. Oh, there we go. Good. And I just want you to feel like you're going to hit the... Uh, Imagine the ball way back there. Okay? Good. And you're trying to hit it low. Or like you're trying to get that thing to hit a draw from back here. Okay? Okay. So it's literally like you're yes, good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Right. Okay. Good. With that intent. With that Imagine intent. like the ball is back here Shit. and you're trying to get the club face to look at the ground. Okay. Jeez. Was that a draw? <laughs> Did I just see a draw? <laughs> Something that didn't fade right, that's for sure. Looks good. Okay, so again, really strong setup. Yeah, I like that. Much better turn sort of behind the ball there. Watch how your club moves here. Oh, hitting up. Okay, a lot different. <laughs> what? I never thought it was possible. You'll be able to see a little more, just in that shift in intent, how that club starts to work in there versus. You're trying to hit the ball back there. Put that club face pointed to the ground. So let's reverse that. So you turn back. Just club face to the ground back here. Beautiful. So, Matt, anybody who's struggling with a similar thing, can you just explain what it is? That feel that you're trying to give Mike of hitting the ball back there, uh -huh. what is that What is that effectively doing for his swing? Sure. <clears throat> okay. So if you think about a club that's traveling to the left and down, the club is going to be attacking from fairly high up. So it's like kind of, if you look in the mirror there, 
see where the club head is relative to the ball? Mm -hmm. Like it's fairly high up and it's fairly close to it. When you get someone who hooks the ball a lot, they kind of have the opposite. The club head's very, very low and it's got a long way to go. Right. And so what we're trying to do is, this feel is designed to help you get that club lowering and closing so that you can hit that straighter ball flight as opposed to staying high and somewhat open coming down. Because right if you're high, you naturally got to come down on the ball. Yeah. It's the only way you can go. Only way, to, unless you do something crazy, which you don't do. Okay. So just try it slowly. Okay. And again, feel like that ball is behind you a little bit. Or just beautiful. How'd that feel? I felt good. I felt really good. A nice little draw on it. Oh, good. 4.6 attack. Got that attack angle up. Nicely done. But just conceptually, what you're trying to do to reduce your pull and your fade is get that club swinging into the ball from a lower position as opposed to a higher position. There we go. There we go, got to turn over. Nice yep. job. Yeah. But again, that attack's getting up and that swing direction's getting straighter. There we go. It feels good, you know. It's, it's exciting when you start to hit the ball well. Right <laughs> now? Oh, yeah. So again, here's where you started. Okay, so here's old delivery. Okay. And here's the new one. Oh yeah, look at the difference <laughs> in the shafts. That's insane. Okay. That's nuts. It's Such a difference too in the way you see your trail shoulder yeah. was coming over. Wow. And now it's going down. So there you go. I mean, you hit that one slow, and there's your 270 carry. <laughs> that was slow. I lowered it 108, yeah. 108, as Five opposed to. Uh... It's insane. <laughs> when I was doing practice, chiropractor specials, yeah. I was swinging out of my shoes, are going 170. Right. With those nasty well, things. Well, you're just so much more efficient now. Right. I felt how would you so say, uh, from a feel perspective, how complex do you feel like that change is? It's, it seems like the slightest little move because it was to shift the pelvis towards the target, give it a little bit of a lean, that's simple. And then the tip Matt gave me about pretending the ball was back here. It's just those three moves, that's it. All the way back, good, keep going. And great, down the left foot face, there we go, nicely done. Beautiful, nice job. Yeah, that works. So that's gonna start getting that carry up. Maybe close to the 280 mark here. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. Woo! Boom. No smoke. Give me something good here. All right. That felt good. That's great. There we go. You got it. He drew it. What? I drew it. Talk to me about that one. Felt good. I feel like I didn't get it all of it, but just the whole feeling through the ball. It seems like everything did work the right way there. Just from a pure delivery standpoint. Three up, one degree left of target. It feels, and again, where we started, you were in the kind of one or two down and 10 degrees left of target with your swing direction. How do I keep this going? Because I don't want to go back to those patterns, obviously, but uh, is it just those three tips, just the this, a little bit of tilt? In your case. In my case, right. In your case, it's again. Which is great, it's nice and easy for me to make. Rather than having upper body ahead of lower, we want them Put them on top together, slight tilt away from target. Slight tilt. Good. Put that up and to the top. Back. Good. We're going to lower the club head and get it looking at the ground. Because that is the opposite of coming out with it and opening it. Okay? Right. Opposite it? to find optimal. Okay. You know, I came here for the purpose of learning to hit up on the ball and I'm hitting up. All right, so Matt, just those 30 minutes, I feel like I learned so much about setup, and I feel like we've accomplished the goal. I mean, what was your thoughts? Yeah, I thought you did a great job uh, fiddling with some pretty uh, opposing concepts to what you were doing. So again, I mean, having your upper body ahead of your lower at address makes it really tough to do anything other than hit down on the ball and swing left, unless mm -hmm. you do some pretty wild stuff with your body. So again, just trying to get that upper body a little bit behind the lower at setup. 
And then in your case, again, the biggest thing is your tendency to get the club coming out and a little bit open. So then it's got to get lower very, very quickly to hit the ball. And so that's where you see that kind of yeah, that's... wipey fade. And so again, the big challenge here is getting that club head lower to the ground and square so that it can travel again a little more into out and hit that high towering draw. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Anytime.